Alright, this video is going to go over what the graph looks like for a profit maximizing perfectly competitive firm. And if there's one thing I can stress, it's that a profit maximizing firm in any respect is going to maximize where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. If you can remember that fact alone, you've learned more than half the battle and you'll be okay. So just keep this in mind, memorize it, say it over and over again. This is what you need to know. Now what does that look like? Let's draw the typical graph. Where we have output or production on the x-axis, we have dollars, price, or cost on the y-axis. We have our marginal cost that slopes down at first and then slopes up as we have that diminishing productivity. And then we have our flat marginal revenue line, which is determined by the outside market, supply and demand. So with these two graphs alone, you know that the firm is going to produce where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. The reason this is the case is think about it from the firm's perspective. If you decide to produce here, your marginal revenue is greater than your marginal cost. So if you decide to produce one more unit, you're going to sell it for more than it costs you to make it. So you'll continue to do that until you get to the point where they're equal. So you're losing out on potential profit if you're to the left of this point. If you're to the right of this point, then your cost is greater than your revenue. So when you sell that additional unit, it costs you more to make it than you're receiving on the margin. So you're losing money, you produce less units until you get to this point here. So if you're to the left or to the right, you're losing out on potential profits. If you're right here, that's where you're maximizing profits. So that's how you make decisions on the margin, marginal revenue and marginal cost. But now let's throw in our average total cost curve to see how we can measure economic profit and economic loss. So in long run equilibrium, the minimum of our average total cost is going to occur where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. So at this point, ATC equals MC equals MR. We're right here. Everything's good. Long run equilibrium, no economic profit, no economic loss. Let's look at another example. Okay, what if we're no longer in long-run equilibrium and let's say that our average total cost is higher than it was before. So we're still, oops, sorry about that. We're still going to produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost for the reason I talked about before. But now when we're calculating economic profit or economic loss, we take the difference between our marginal revenue line, since it's flat, and our average total cost curve. So this is saying on average how much does it cost to produce this stuff, and on average, because this is equal to average revenue as well for a perfectly competitive market, how much are we getting for that good? So on average, we receive this. On average, we give up this. That means since it's on average, we can just multiply it by the quantity. And this rectangle right here will be our economic loss. And it's our economic loss because our cost is higher than our revenue. So that's a bad thing. In the long run, firms will leave the market because they're making an economic loss. They can take advantage of opportunities elsewhere. 
but there's another case. What if our average total cost went down? And notice how careful I was in drawing these average total cost curves. The minimum of the average total cost has to intersect this marginal cost line. So again, we're going to produce where marginal cost equals marginal revenue, as we talked about before. But now, marginal revenue is higher. We draw the line down to average total cost. Draw that line across. And this right here represents our economic profit. We're making an economic profit because the price we're receiving or the marginal revenue of that good is higher than the average cost uh, required to produce that good. So we're making a profit. Hence economic profit. That's a good thing. Firms like that perfectly competitive firms can do this in the short run. In the long run, more firms will enter to try to take advantage of that economic profit, and so it won't last forever. And then also, potentially, costs could be really high, and that would result in an economic loss. In the long run, firms will either exit the market or enter the market and get us back to this point where the minimum of average total cost equals marginal cost and marginal revenue, and that's our long-run equilibrium.